Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Efingela and Miroslav Filip. This is a game from the Candidates Tournament played in 1962. Gel had white pieces and he started with e4. Philip played c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, a6, bishop to e2, e6, the Scheveningen Sicilian, Gela castled kingside, queen to c7, f4, bishop to e7, bishop to e3, black to move. Knight from b to d7 was played. Knight to c6 is played more often. We have knight from b to d7. Bishop to f3. Knight to b6. Queen to e2. And Philip castled king side 2. White to move. Gela played g4. He was first to play g4 in this position. Knight to c4 attacking the bishop on e3. White to move. I guess some players would think how to preserve the dark squared bishop. Maybe the bishop can be preserved by playing bishop to c1. But this is not Gela's style. Gela played g5, knight to d7. I guess some players would still think of saving the bishop. But in this position, Gela played an amazing move, and that is knight to f5, clearing the square on d4 for the bishop. Quite an amazing move, isn't it? Black to move. Bishop to d8 was played. If knight takes on e3, then knight takes on e7. Check. This is Zwischenzug. And after king to h8, queen takes knight. And let's go back. How about pawn takes knight? What happens then? Then knight to d5. And after queen to d8, queen takes on c4. Back to our game. Philip played bishop to d8. Bishop to d4. Well, <laughs> with this move, Gela is allowing pawn takes knight. Of course, Philip considered pawn takes knight. Instead, he played f6. Why? Let's take it back. If pawn takes knight, then knight to d5, and after queen to a5, b4, if queen goes to a3, queen takes on c4. Back to our game. So we have f6. White to move. Everybody was expecting an extraordinary move from Gela in this position. Instead, Gela played this very quiet move. King to h1. No kidding. A quiet move in the middle of the storm. With this move, Gela is saying to Philip, do what you want. Knight from d to b6 was played. Let's take it back. Again, if pawn takes knight, knight to d5, after queen to a5, queen takes on c4. Back to our game. Knight from d to b6. Perhaps white should move the knight now. What do you think? Instead, g takes on f6 was played bishop takes on f6 if pawn takes knight then f takes on g7 and philip was naturally uncomfortable with this variation so he played bishop takes on f6 bishop takes on f6 rook takes on f6 knight takes on d6 this is a monster knight black to move rook takes on f4 if knight takes on d6, then e5. Rook takes pawn on f4. Knight takes on c4. Knight takes on c4. Well, Philip was defending very well. And it looks like that he is okay now. White to move. 
What could you do? Gala played e5. Black to move and naturally Philip wanted to develop his pieces and he played bishop to d7. White to move. What would you do now? Please pause and find the killer move that Gala played in this position. Did you pause? What did you find? White played the move and black resigned. And the move is this amazing knight to d5 move. Another monster knight. Philip resigned in view of this continuation. E takes on d5. Bishop takes on d5. King to h8. Rook takes on f4. Some people argued that black could have continued playing from this position. But Philip was mentally shattered and wanted to have a rest. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.